We need to start scrapping. Oh man, I can't even get in there. I found some stuff right away. We opened the trunk a while. I found stuff in that bag. I don't know if there's anything else. Oh no, there's some heavy shit on top. Something in here, I know I lost it. There it is. Trick or treat. Here's some Nutella. <laughs> This is like too cold. Yeah, I know. I don't even look like it's open. Is there anything in there? Yeah. I think so. It's pretty heavy. What's this bag right here? Is that one of those coolers? Oh, they destroyed that. <laughs> Looks like they did that on purpose. I'm trying to reach this bag right there. That's what I was trying to reach. Oh, there's something right there. And another one of those bottles. That looks untouched. Oh, it's a little off pin. Aw, you just threw it. I don't give a damn about no altar pin. Let me have that egg. Exactly what they were talking about. What? They're not in there. The uh, hair extensions. Oh. Watch out. Oh. Fifteen dollars. <laughs> I dug as much as I could reach on that side. They might be going to us. I saw lip glosses for the patch of the wall. They might be going to us. Look at that. There's a couple things in there. Yeah, okay. There's something in there. It's pretty 
Touches the cat. Getting started. Nothing left in this house. Okay, it might just be a cat back there in there, actually. But you want less than the chocolate. It looks good. Hey, check this out. Brand new spongeable. Nothing. 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 Oh, man. They're starting to destroy some of it. Oh, yeah? Yep. I see quite a few things now. We did that before, because remember yeah. when we first came, there was like blue shit all over stuff? Probably depends who's working. Oh, there's hair in that. I think that is fun for it. We almost did it. I got a car. <laughs> Hi everyone, I have a incredibly large and totally amazing dumpster dive haul. I went dumpster diving yesterday to the dumpster I go to every week and I will show you what I found there and then everything that you see in this box other than this bag here came from a different dumpster in a different town that I have been going to for I'd say over a month and it's always empty always empty there is never anything there um, I will get to that story after I show you guys first what I got in the dumpster I go to all the time um, I found quite a number of these studio gear items and I don't know they're getting rid of their display of this or whatnot. Um, but these are all brand new. These were testers, however, this isn't the kind of stuff you're going to be able to test in the store, so they're pretty much full size, um, full bottles. So this one is a revitalizing glycolic cleanser. Then there was a clarifying facial toner. This one is the gel cleanser, and these retail for like $22 a piece. And this one is a purifying cleansing cream. And then the last thing I got that was from that brand is this glass pump bottle of revitalizing day serum. It's just missing the cap. Also at that dumpster I found this Spongibles. Um, sponge. This actually has like soap on the sponge. I've used Spongibles before and I really like them so this was a great find. Apparently it was on clearance for $3.99 and no one purchased it so they threw it away. So that's still sealed. And then also a clearance item that I found was this Body Shop Cle Clementine. This is just a beautifying oil and that was on clearance for $8 but no one bought it. Found that. I also found, oh, this was another studio gear item. This is an eyeshadow pot and it has three different shades in. And this looks new. I already swatched the colors myself, so that's why if you see any swatch marks, that was all me. So, found that. I found a box to the Clarisonic head, um, brush head that I got in my last dumpster dive haul. So if I end up selling it, then I figured I'd have a little box to put it with. And it has the little paper in and everything else. I found two of these Pure Minerals lipsticks. And these were actually like on a display. And I just popped them right off of the display. And this one is in the color Fashionista. Just this pink. These smell awesome. They smell like vanilla cake batter. So I found that one and then I found this one and this one is in Show Off which is like a berry color. And these don't even really look like they were used. And then the last thing, no, I found this 
Urban Decay Lush Lash Mascara and this, it feels really light to me. I don't really know. I think maybe there's not much product left in it. And since it's a mascara, I'm probably just going to throw it out. But found that anyway. I didn't know what it was at first. I was just grabbing stuff. And then the last thing I found at that dumpster was this Too Faced Perfect Lips um, lip pencil. And this box is a little dinged up and gross, so I'm going to throw the box away. However, the lip pencil doesn't look like it was really used. Maybe like swatched one time. So it just needs wiped off. And this is in the color Perfect Nude. So I found all those in the dumpster that I typically always go to. And you can see when you guys watch my Follow Me Dumpster Diving videos that you know, it takes a while to find stuff in the dumpster because there's just things randomly thrown in the dumpster or just randomly in different bags. Like, you actually have to go and, like, dig around for the product. So, my boyfriend was in our old hometown and he we never find anything at the in the dumpster. So, he had to get a haircut and he was like, oh, do you want me to check the dumpster while I'm in town and I was like well yeah sure go ahead however you know I didn't think he'd find anything well lo and behold he called me up and he's like I don't know what I found I got a box of something I don't know what all is in it but he said he had found something and I kind of didn't believe him at first because we never find anything in that dumpster well here it was this whole entire box it was completely taped shut and sealed up and it was just full of nothing but store returns. And the great thing about all this, not only was it packaged up in a box, just ready for someone to take and, you know, not have to dig for, it also came with this list of everything that's in the box. So I know what's in the box. Um, when, you know, why it's in there, some of its damages, some of its... Um, you know, returns that they had to destroy, and some of it was things that people stole. The things that people stole aren't in here because obviously they were stolen items. Um, but it pretty much told me everything, and along with that, there were stickers. There were stickers on every single piece of product in here that said, you know, what was wrong with it, and, you know, stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys what all was in this box. We're going to go through it. I already looked at everything, however, I don't remember what all was in here, so this is going to be fun. Um, this is going to be a long video. This box is really full of a lot of stuff. So if you're not interested in seeing what's in here, I'd click out of the video. But trust me, it's stuff that you'll definitely want to see because this is like the best find I have ever found so far. So one of the first things that was in here was this Real Techniques um, I, I, bleh. This Real Techniques eyeshadow brush set and it comes with five brushes and a two-in-one case stand. So if this is a store return, which I'm not sure because I took the tags off of everything already, but if it was a store return and someone like tested it out or used it or whatnot, I mean, it's still in the box. I can clean it up and put it back in the box. Um, but anyway, this retailed for $17.99. I don't know the retail value of all of this stuff, but this is just insane. Like, I have never found things like this before yet in my dumpster diving tr um, adventures. So there was also another Real Techniques brush. This is a retractable lip, bleh, retractable lip brush. There was a bottle of biotin and collagen OGX oil mist. And as you can see, it's still pretty full. Looks like maybe it was used once to try it out and whoever bought it didn't like it. There was a large bottle of Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. And I seem to find Mario Badescu a lot in the dumpster. This one's full. 
doesn't even have tester stickers on it because it's just like, I guess, a store return. This was a Zen Tan 24K Sunless Tan Lotion. This is still in the box. Looks like a full tube. So, got that. Um, there was another Mario Badescu Glycolic Acid Toner. So, there's two full bottles of that. There, oops. There's a Bare Mineral Bare Skin Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. I actually found one of these in a dumpster before. This one has two and they still had the box. So there was two different shades. This one's Bare Natural and this one's Bare Linen. So I'll open one of them so you guys can see what it looks like. It just looks like that. Um, there was a Proganics Volume Shampoo. Looks like a full bottle. There was a Maybelline, or no, this is L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation in, what's the shade of this? This is Natural Buff. Got a little can of Pureology Color Stylist Hairspray. Still feels full. A bottle of Kenra Clarifying Shampoo. And this feels full. This was empty. I don't know where they dumped it out at or where it got dumped out at. It was not dumped into this box though, which was nice. But this was a bottle of Rusk Shampoo. Or no, this was conditioner. But obviously that's empty. So I'll put that in our recycle bin. There was a Benefit Pore Professional. This is like a pore minimizing foundation, I think. And these are like brand new. I mean, you don't even have to like barely squeeze it to get product out. There was a Freeman Clay Mask and Mint and Lemon Mask. I don't know what this brand is. I've never seen it before, but there was an, it's called Eclos. There's a daily facial cleansing oil and a anti-aging facial scrub. They have that in a nice little Ziploc bag. I don't know if one was leaking, but I'll figure it out at some point. As you can see, these were all the papers that the stuff was marked on each product. There is a L'Oreal lipstick and this is in Frida's Nude which looks like this. There's another Eclose product. This is Plant Stem Cell Anti-Aging Face Serum. A bottle of Big Sexy Hair, Big Altitude. This is in Mousse. Feels full. Found another one of these Smashbox Halo Foundations and I found one of these in a dumpster already and I have actually been using it for like the past month or so since I got it and I really like it. It's really good. This one again is my shade. It's just a nice foundation. What you do is you just like twist this and then the powder like sifts up itself. So that's nice. There was another Real Techniques brush. This one is a powder brush. I've been wanting to try the Real Techniques brushes, so this is awesome. It's another Kenra item. This is styling cream. There was an OPI nail polish. Really pretty pink color. In Hotter Than You Pink.
There was a Maybelline color tattoo. This is in inked in pink. And this looks like someone like dipped their finger in it just ever so slightly. There was a huge bottle of KMS Color Vitality Shampoo, and this is completely full. It's heavy as shit. Um, let's see, that's trash. This was a Eclos Moisture Therapy Regenerative Cream. It's so nice that they put the stuff in bags so it wouldn't leak all over everything else. That was perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, this is a Smashbox Always Sharp 3D Eyeliner. And this is in the shade Pacific. And I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like that. Looks new. I mean the point is still sharp. a Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is in the shade I don't know. I don't know the shade name. But looks full. There was a Laura Geller Color Drenched Lip Gloss in French Press Rose. Like that. Pretty. Pretty color. Um, there was an Essie nail polish in Sunday Fun Day. Just like a corally pink. There's another OPI nail polish in Down to the Coral or Coral. First time finding nail polishes. This is a L'Oreal lipstick in Perpetual Peach. This looks like that. There's a little tube of Laura Geller BB cream. There was a Pop Beauty Ink Outliner Eyeliner Pen. This has an $18 tag on it. And I like pretty much just ran out of my eyeliner marker. So that's that one. Uh, there was another Essie nail polish. This one's a purple, like lavender color in full steam ahead. It's another Essie nail polish. This one's in Rock the Boat, which is just a baby blue color. An Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. I just found one of these in my last dumpster dive haul. And, but this one's a different shade. This one's in... This shade is called Rush. It looks like that. There was a Tarte Creaseless Concealer. A NYX Lip Balm Butter in Parfait. And it looks like someone just like unsealed this in the store just to like look at the color. But like the actual product doesn't look like it was ever like touched. So they probably had to throw it away because someone unsealed it. There was a NYX Lipstick in Power. Looks like that. It looks like this was like a manufacturer problem. Like you can see how it comes up through the tube. 
kind of like sideways. So that's probably why I had to throw that out. Uh, there was a pure 4-in-1 foundation. And looks like that. There's a couple of these L'Oreal Privy lipsticks. This one's in Dotson's Nude. I've never seen these before, but I don't really stay on top of drugstore makeup. Or makeup in general. I mean, I was joking with my boyfriend that I haven't actually been inside the store in such a long time because I'm always out back. <laughs> so, there was also this L'Oreal lipstick in... Spice, which you can see like the top is just a little, like looks like someone went to put the cap on and like knocked the tip on the cap, so you can see, in, I don't know if you can see inside the cap, but you can see like where it hit. Uh, this, this didn't have a cap, um, this is a prestige uh, brow liner in taupe. So it's new, it just doesn't have the cap. And I don't know if I have any kind of extra cap, so I'm probably, I don't know, I might have to just throw them back out. Same with this one. It's another one. This one's in blonde, though. I don't think there were any caps for them in the box. This is another Essie Nail Polish in full steam ahead. So there's two of these in here. That just needs to be shaken up a bit. This is a Stila eyeliner in Onyx, which, as you can see, needs sharpened. It looks like, I don't know if it melted or just got smushed or something like that. Uh, this also didn't have a cap. It's a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Pots and Pans. I have other NYX um, Jumbo Pencils, but I don't really know where to get caps for these things. Uh, this was in a bag because this side leaked everywhere, but this side looks like it's perfectly usable. And it's a Revlon nail art in Moon Candy. So I'll have to clean that up. This is another L'Oreal lipstick. This one they have in a bag because I guess it was leaking or melting. I don't know. We'll open it up and see what it looks like. It needs cleaned off. Yeah, that one's going to be going back in the trash, so... Just looks like that. But like I said, it's nice that they had everything in bags and stuff so it wouldn't mess up anything else. How sweet of them. Um, this is an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. And it just looks like that. I've never tried anything by this brand before. But I saw, I think, two other things in here by that brand. Um, there was another little bottle of hairspray. This one's Nick Chave, plump and thick. It's a jar of American Crew fiber. This is, I guess, is like a hair gel, and that's entirely new. There's like no mark in it whatsoever. It's a Bare Minerals Prime Time Foundation Primer. Ew. That one's pretty gross. You can see the top of it needs cleaned off. There was a It Cosmetics um, Big Powder Fan Brush. It's used, um, but makeup brushes can be cleaned very easily, so that'll clean up nicely. There's a Benefit High Beam. I have a little jar of this. This one's like the full size, so that's pretty cool. There was a Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Foundation, which hardly looks touched. There's another one of those L'Oreal lipsticks. This one's in Jennifer's Nude, which this one looks brand new.
There's a little Ulta There was a little Ulta perfume in Freshwater Mist. It doesn't have a cap, but there's still a lot of product left in it. An Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil. Which looks like that. That looks new, too. Um, a Bare Minerals brush. This is a Perfecting Face brush. And this looks like it might have been used. So I just have to clean that up. Another L'Oreal lipstick. This one's in Julianne's Nude. That looks new as well. And there's Maybelline Fit Me. This is a blush in Deep Mauve. Looks like someone unsealed it to swatch the color. What the hell's in that? There was an Ulta liquid eyeliner in Amethyst. This is actually still has the seal on it. It's a CoverGirl Compact Powder Classic Ivory. Brand new. This was actually still in the box. And I think the yeah, the um puff is still in here too. What are you doing? Just waving to the camera too. It cosmetics celebration foundation. And this was in the box. I found a, I found a cap to one of the um, brow pencils, so that's awesome. One of them will be usable. There was a Smashbox. What is this? Camera ready full coverage concealer. It looks like that. This is a this is a um, I think bare minerals foundation powder or something which obviously Used broke to be. yeah it broke apart so again nice of them to keep it the mess out of the box. This was a Sally Hansen some sort of like nail nail strips. And the strips are still in here and look like they're perfectly usable. Um, I don't know what all this other random stuff was that was used, but the strips you can see are right here. They haven't been used yet. Alright, and two of like the most amazing finds in the box, I saved them for last, so hopefully you guys are still watching. Uh, this is a Laura Geller Garden Party 6-piece makeup collection. In the box, retail for $49. I'll show you everything that was inside. It came with a um, makeup brush, which is still sealed, a BB cream, a eyeliner, lipstick, a lip spackle, and then this really pretty blush. And these are all new. It was still in the box, so I have no idea. I guess maybe someone got it as a gift and decided that they didn't want it or didn't like it. So they took it back. The other awesome find in here was a Stila eyeshadow palette. And this looks to be new as well. And it just looks like this. You can see the shades here. They don't look like they were swatched to me, but irregardless, even if they were, I mean, that's still perfectly full and usable palette plus it comes with a eyeliner so that was just amazing to find in here but anyway guys that is my dumpster dive haul for this week 
This has been the the best jumpster dive haul I have.